Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to the live session of our triple offset valve Zetrix smart solutions for zero leakage. We hope you enjoy our live session and uh, please feel free to ask questions either on the chat here or in this uh, Zoom meeting or later on directly through our amateur or on the Akama Pulse platform. And my name is Tim, Tim Wallace from our amateur. So I'm responsible for certain kind of trainings, uh, product trainings and application trainings um, at our amateur. And we would like to introduce you today this our triple offset butterfly valve together with my colleague Christian. Hello, nice to meet you. My name is Christian Kölsch. I'm the product manager for the triple offset portfolio Citrix, uh, which we do have in line since the last nine years. Christian, we're talking about triple offset, triple offset design. Please uh, let us know um, how it operates, a triple offset design. Yeah, Tim, thanks. It is the following. So we do have a real triple offset valve. It has, um, let me say, three tricks available. So that means eccentricity number one brings out the shaft out of the sealing circumference of the laminated sealing ring so that we have a full circumference tight shutoff. Mm -hmm. With trick number two, we displace the shaft a little bit uh, with the turning point, so that means we lower it a little bit from the pipe axis, mm -hmm. so that has uh, somehow lifting effect, so that it is more or less comparable to somehow a swing check valve, so with that we avoid jamming effects within the function. Mm -hmm. And with trick number three, we bring in a triple win-win. It is then that the jamming is really completely offset, so we don't have such effects any longer, we do have then the possibility to cycle the valve into full differential bidirectional tight shutoff mm -hmm. and it is uh, alongside really with some much lower torque available so that we can um, really lower the respective torque need for the selection of the respective actuators. Ah, okay, fair enough. So we are talking about zero leakage. So how, how do we reach um, and how, how do we reach and uh, what is the, the miracle about uh, the le zero leakage to, to achieve this really zero leakage? Yeah, it is the following. Um, basically, the valve has a laminated sealing ring which is laying, simply laying, on the disc itself. So the, the, uh, the disc itself is only the taxi for the laminated sealing ring which travels into the stellated seat area which is stellated 21. It is hard face, it's robust, it's durable, it's long lasting for decades. And that laminated sealing ring has a somehow smart, let me say, behavior. Mm -hmm. And it settles, when it settles, it is driven only by the torque. So it is a floating design. The laminated sealing ring has a certain range of um, agility. And then it moves into the seat. It is driven only by torque into the seat and with some additional, let me say, further torque we bring it to full tightness, so it's a TSO, it's a tight shutoff valve. Mm -hmm. And um, how do we do the testing of this, of this tightness class, according to which, uh, to which approvals, to which certificates? Yeah, as you said, it is a zero leakage valve, so we test it alongside to um, EN12266 part one and two mm -hmm. in case, or if it's necessary, if it's requested, it's also uh, so-called uh, fulfilling the leak rates of API 598 zero leakage, so that means it is comparable to uh, soft seated valve, so it's a real triple offset zero leakage valve, really. Do we have a chance to, 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 to show the, um, the, 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 the audience how we reach this tight shutoff effect, this yeah. zero leakage effect? It's possible. Um, we do have somehow a paper test. It's, paper let test. me say, simple, but it is really something amazing to show how it works. So. I like to show it to you, so feel free to follow me. First, I have to cycle the valve into the full closed position. So, and shortly before it reaches the full closed position, I use this simple piece of paper, put it here into that section. Uh, sorry. So and now I'm going to cycle the valve 
into close, fully closed. And when it reaches the seat area, you really feel the torque increasing. And now I do give some two up to three extra shots on the hand wheel, and it is really gas tight zero leakage. Two, three, and now it's gas tight to be used up to the full differential pressure, so it's fully class suitable. And now I release it. And please, so, and with that, you can see it is a clear print. It is somehow like a helicopter, mm -hmm. laminated seat, travels into the seat, and when it's released back to open, you see that clear print, and that is a true triple offset metal seated butterfly valve. Wow, that's fantastic, Christian. Uh, thank you so much for this, uh, for this demonstration. I think it was a, a, a real, um, real uh, great demonstration for you as well. So uh, we are talking about triple offset butterfly worth. Sometimes you call it butterfly worth. As far as I know, um, what about the flow direction? I haven't seen, I haven't seen a uh, flow indicator um, on, this, uh, on this design so far. What about the flow? Do we have a certain kind of flow or can we use it either or? It is basically a bidirectional valve, as said, but of course we do have a preferred pressure and flow direction, which mm -hmm. is coming from the so-called shaft side. Oh what okay. you can see here is the so-called disc side. Coming from the shaft side, we recommend to use the pressure and the flow. And it is additionally casted on top of the body of the valve so that you can see the arrow which follows with that, let me say, preferred flow and pressure, yes. Yeah. Yeah, talking about pressure, um, so means when we are talking about pressure, so then often we are talking about certain kind of materials as well. So what kind of pressure classes and uh, what kind of materials are we able to offer? What you can see here, Tim, is a class 600 valve. So it is representing la the latest design of the fully luck design here. Mm -hmm. We do have that available as class 150, 300 and class 600. So this one here, the blue one, is a cast carbon steel version. We have it also available as a stainless steel version. Mm -hmm. And so alongside with different design like weld ends, like double flange, short pattern, according to API, and to be seen further on design, which we also can discuss. Mm -hmm. So means, uh, um, I assume that we can offer it for, for different kind of medias, for different kind of applications. Um, when we, when we offer this world for different kind of applications. What about, I think this is a packing area here as, as um, can, we, can we offer different kind of packings for these different kind of applications? Yeah, of course. Um, what you can see here, thanks for the question, is our so-called long neck. So we have possibilities to, let me say, also insulate the valve throughout, so without interrupting the insulation. Mm -hmm. And alongside with that, there is enough space to implement our packing system in case. So we do have five different systems of packings so far. And we do have also enough space here to implement some bushing, which are carrying, for example, special O-rings for different applications like um, high temperature fluids, so-called thermal oil application, mm -hmm. which we do have in, in with design up to 400 degrees Celsius. Okay, you mentioned uh, hot oil, thermal oil applications. Can you, uh, do we have some, some, some other references where we, where we sold already? Uh, yeah, we do have a lot of references. Um, so basically, let me say, starting from district heating up to different chemistry applications. So we have a huge portfolio of reference lists which are available on request. Yeah, ah, okay. Yeah, here uh, we see um, the operation by, by manual gear. So, um, but uh, as far as I know, and uh, that's what I, wha what I saw before in, in, in other plans is that uh, such kind of wealth, they are optimized by, by a certain kind of actuator. Are we able to offer different kind of actuators as well? Of course. Um, so what you can see here is the basic equipment with a so-called fire safe gearbox mm -hmm. um, as well, because it's the valve itself is fire safe tested, it's really originally fire safe tested, mm -hmm. for example, according to API 607. Mm -hmm. 
But here that fire safe gearbox is the one piece you can use mm -hmm. to cycle such a, such a valve. But of course, additionally, it is possible to automate such valves with pneumatic or hydraulic or electrical actuators as well. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, when we, when we uh, automize the valve with a pneumatic or electric actuator, for example, so, um, so do we fulfill just the on-off operation or is, uh, is the valve able to fulfill a modulating or control, control um, um, cycle as well? Correct, it is both. So as you said, it is basically an on-off valve, so 90 degrees on-off, so it's so-called TSO, tight shut-off valve. It can also be used, and that is a perfect fit for such triple offsets as a so-called ESD, so that means an emergency shutdown device. Mm -hmm. So cycling within less than one second, for example, if it's automated, for example, with pneumatic actuators. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, it is, as you said, it is also to be used within, let me say, simple uh, control applications. And with that, we have the recommendation to use the valve, let me say, within the equal percentage range of open degrees, starting from around about 30 degrees up to 70, 75, which is representing the most linear section within that equal percentage curve of flow. Yes. Wow, that's very precisely. Um, yeah, and I'm wondering a bit about this, um, let's call it a bracket here, because um, um, the valves I saw before um, are uh, more or less without such kind of bra um, bracket here. So means the actuators um, are assembled directly on the top flange here. Do we have any, does it have any benefits to go with a bracket or is it is it a unique, unique design of, of our triple offset world? It is in that way our idea of um, providing a solution for the client to have really in case at every day the possibility to supervise his packing system mm -hmm. or respectively maybe to uh, do his maintenance job in case that let me say after 15 or 20 years the packing system is maybe leaking for example so that he has the chance to do his overhaulment at place without having the need to disassemble something for example like the gearbox so that is uh, a perfect fit to really supervise the system. Okay. Yeah, you talked about um, um, certain kind of medias um, we are offering and, uh, and selling uh, this kind of product. Um, as far as I know, for critical media, often customers requested um, a, a two times isolation or double isolation solution because of safety factor. Um, do we have any kind of solutions for this uh, two step isolation? Yeah, we do have. So in case that a client has the need to fulfill its double isolation, we can provide uh, a new setup, which is the so-called double block and bleed system. That means that we provide two Citrix, so in a redundant installation, together with a joint piece, which with a spool piece in between. So, and the joint piece, the spool piece is also made by Ari. We do have a huge uh, welding co competence at our facility in Holzhausen where the complete portfolio of Citrix is manufactured so yeah in case that someone needs something like that double block and bleed respectively double isolation mm -hmm. yeah come on and request us to to make a quote for you so the beauty the customer can get uh, these double isolation uh, together with this spool part out of one hand out of yes. from from our directly from our it's the Ari philosophy it's a one-stop shop, so yeah. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, yeah, back back to this, um, back to the medias. Um, so for some kind of medias and uh, applications, um, you you have to fulfill certain um, yeah, certificates or approvals. Uh, are we able, or do we fulfill uh, such kind of requests according to certain certificates and approvals? Yeah, of course. It is really a must have to provide such kind of certificates to the client because in case that he has to fulfill TA Luft or yeah. let me say the overall um, um, is that he has to fulfill the so-called fugitive emission issue. Mm -hmm. And with that, we do have um, two different certificates at hand. That means we have tested and certified the Citrix valve, specially equipped with additional O-rings, for example, 
to fulfill different temperature level, 400 degrees Fahrenheit and 750 degrees Fahrenheit. Helium leak tested and with that, so the client can also um, have that, that kind of certificates at hand directly in case that he needs it. Mm. Yeah. Oh, sounds that we already have um, a complete package um, 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 of our triple offset uh, wells with different kind of designs, different kind of packaging for, for many kind of applications. So um, sounds that, that we have a full package uh, already or um, do we have, uh, for, for, for the upcoming future, do we have uh, uh, further developments? Yes, um, the idea is really to provide something more which is necessary for example, a heat resistant version which sees uh, 1000 degrees Fahrenheit. Mm -hmm. We will see another design representing class 600 with weld ends, mm -hmm. which provides an additional triple win-win for the client. For example, simply equipping the weld ends design with weld on flanges to have the chance to have then a double flanged valve again with longer face-to-face -face dimensions. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay, Christian. Thank you. Thanks for all the um, for all these uh, very very important information you gave us about the uh, um, triple offset butterfly weld Zetrix of our Amaton. Yeah, this was uh, the live session today about our triple offset butterfly weld Zetrix. We hope you enjoyed our live session, and now please feel free to ask um, your questions during the Akema chat or later on directly through our Amaton. Thanks a lot and thanks uh, a lot. Goodbye. It was my pleasure. Thank you. Bye.